boy. Hill's kitchen. Oh, happy moon, what do you have for us? This was not what I was expecting. Are we back in the 80s? Is it Sailor Moon? So it's Ryushu and Gregor. Ryushu's art has the Pierre stuff. Okay, that's Jack. That's uh, That looks like a Jack. Jack is a PS assistant back in Library of Ruina. Oh, fancy. Yatta. <laughs> oh boy, cannibalism. So this is really back to... It's really back to the uh, Library of Ruina. Oh, new ego. That's interesting. Uh, what am I looking at here? Lifetime Steel Sinclair? Oh, it's two egos and Don. Lifetime Steel Don? Oh, okay. And that is a chicken abnormality. How lovely. Um, someone seems to be eating the chicken. Okay then, so we're getting, we're getting Pierre, we're getting Jack, and then we're getting two chicken themed egos, and a chicken boss to fight. This will be interesting. Uh -huh. The Pierre gang is... Uh, Self-healers, binders, and bleeders. I wonder what the chicken egos will be. Well then. So we... it will be interesting. Because we already have a very substantial bleed setup. We have already uh, the Ankop gang for for kneeling. We got Wakashu gang for bleeding. So now we got the Hell's Kitchen gang for more bleeding. Self-healing bleeding maybe? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, kits they come with. And since they are event IDs, that means they will be free, right? Event IDs, uh, they seem to be given out for free. I wonder if the patch notes have anything to say about it. Not the look at the Project Moon patch notes. Did they release any update for this? Hell's Kitchen, Hell's Kitchen trailer. Oh, uh, they released some patch notes about the event. Okay, okay. So we got part one. Part one will happen on the 20th, okay. Exchange period will be longer than the event, so you just play until May 4th, and then after that you have a short window to claim your rewards. Okay, that's uh, standard gacha stuff. How nice is this as well? You collect bongi plushies, and we redeem various rewards from the coupon tree in based on number of bongi plushies. You can only access this if you complete Chroma. Alright, another motivation to complete Chroma. If you haven't done it yet, go and do it. Oh, that is a uh, pretty artwork actually. I'm on Team Yoshio, obviously. I believe in waifu supremacy. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized the teams are split into half. Uh, looks like Dawn, Heathcliff, and Basalt are on Gregor's side. Rodion, Otis, Ryoshu, I mean. That's Faust, I, can't, I don't see Faust. Okay, I think Faust is on the right side. Okay, all, the, all, all my waifus are on the right, so I'm on Team Ryoshu. If that is even relevant. You can earn bongi plushies by clearing stages and dungeons in the event and main story. Okay, sure. It's the first time clear on the Hell's Kitchen stages. There's also EX clear rewards. Okay, so it's quite literally out of my style. So we just, uh, we probably will have a very good stage to farm 
with a decent uh, anchor ferlin to bongi plushy ratio and then we just farm that hut or we one time clear everything else yeah mirror dungeons luxurvation and refraction do not give okay so these are okay so it's gonna be stage farming yeah it's gonna be stage farming okay i let's see what the stages keep and besides the stages what else do we want okay so they also follow the uh some other gacha games where if you have the id and ego you get bonuses i think epic 7 and uma musumi have this mechanic i'm pretty sure others have but those are the only two that i can remember right now but yeah so basically if you own it or oh, having ids and egos from the event on your team so must i equip that Provide their boost by being on the team and do not have to be directly participated. So you must equip them. Okay. So as long as you equip them and you don't have to bring them but you can equip them, you will get the bonus effects here. So when you go for your farming runs, always equip all of these. Very simple. Decimals rounded up. Okay, I like that they are specifying this now because for a lot of their numbers, we really don't know if it's up or down. Quite interesting that they are saying this now. Provide their boost. Longest plus sheet earning boost will not apply to one time clear. Okay, yep, so standard gacha stuff. Everything here is very standard for gachas. What about the Hell's Kitchen Part 2? Let's see, Hell's Kitchen dungeons pay similarly to Mirror Dungeons. Okay, so we get a Mirror Dungeon style dungeon. It will cost different amounts. You get fixed levels for the normal, and then you get actual levels for the hard, with the cap being 15 and 30. Okay, sure. Interesting. So that means for the first, I guess, floor of the mirror dungeon, the Hell's Kitchen dungeon, we are stuck at 15 and then when we get to the end, we will be at 30. Okay, interesting. That's an interesting one. I don't actually know if this has any gameplay benefits. It just seems to just be arbitrary. That's 15 and then 30. I'll bring my 30s and then I'll just, you know, try. Maybe I have to level up during the dungeon. I don't know. Max level is at 30, however, identity's actual level is applied. Okay, I don't think this actually matters. I think you just bring your max level character in and you just be at the highest level it can be once you reach uh, step 2. Okay. And then we get ego gifts from the mirror dungeon. Okay. These ego gifts will assist. So it's like... So I think they'll probably give us some synergistic stuff. So maybe um, if the egos are burn or bleed later, we will get the burn or bleed uh, ego gifts from the mirror dungeon. To help with the mirror dungeon here to so that they can show off these synergies that the uh, new stuff can uh, uh, synergize with the mirror dungeon eagle gifts there. and after that we got identities only have two steps of power level in hell's kitchen hell's chicken dungeon Take that 15, 15, Egos allow, Ego slots unlock WoW at RLF. I mean, we don't have these, so I don't know the point of these, but probably for future. So in the future, we'll only be able to use our low ranking Egos, and then in the future, we will be able to finally start using our high ranking Egos. This is step 1 and step 2. I do not know what step 1 and step 2 mean here. Step 1 and step 2. I guess step 2 means the second part of the kitchen, the chicken dungeon. We're calling it kitchen, but it's chicken. Hell's chicken. Damn it. Damn you, Gordon Ramsay. Oh my goodness. Okay. For player convenience, a preset function. So if you've cleared before, you get to keep... You get to rerun the dungeon by quickly clicking a button that lets you bring all the identities and egos you used to clear it before. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, it kind of looks like Arc Knights, uh, the memory foam team. So if you clear it with this team, you will automatically get that team when you go and do the dungeon again. Something like something like that. It's uh, it's something. Nice quality of life, I would say. Uh, layouts are random. Boss will be the same. Hell's Chicken Dungeons consists of a single floor, and final note always features Hell's Hell's Chicken Boss. Okay. There are special events and ego gifts unique to the Hell's Chicken Dungeons. Events exclusive to the Hell's Chicken Dungeon are marked with a unique icon. Okay, so there will be special icons for Hell's Chicken events. And then there will be coupon trading provides various rewards. Okay, so this is just the 
the actual event. Why is there a paid looking thing at the bottom? The hell's chicken event stages, main story stages to earn bongi plushies. You can redeem various rewards from the coupon trading based on the number of plushies you have. New eagle for grabs. The owner's gone cuckoo. Okay. Coupon trading is open for three weeks. Once the event ends, you will no longer be able to earn bongi plushies. And you will no longer be able to redeem its rewards once 11th comes around. But you will get to see the story. Okay, that's nice. Right, so they do have a replayable, uh, rewatchable story, but it's nice. So overall, the event is just very similar to an Arc Nights event. They will have a so they will have some fun stages for you to do. Uh, looks like they will even do a second like mirror dungeon just for this event, which is quite interesting. Although it looks like a one floor uh, mirror dungeon, which I think is uh, better than having a three floor mirror dungeon when we just uh, doing this one time. Saves them resources and we don't have to grind it so much. I wonder if it will be a one time done or maybe you have to do it a few times. Because they did mention that mirror dungeon will not give it, but health chicken dungeons are different, right? I don't see any rewards from the Hell's Chicken dungeon here. Did they actually mention any Hell's Chicken rewards? It doesn't look like it has a Hell's Chicken rewards. Or maybe it's supposed to be like your farming stage instead of just farming a regular farming node. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We'll just see how the game we we'll just see how the gameplay uh, plays out. Uh looks like it's gonna be a standard Gacha event, nothing of note here. Uh, they added a nice quality of life and... Oh, extraction. Oh, okay, okay. So you will have to pull for Ryoshu and for Sinclair Ego, but you get Gregor and Dawn for free. Okay, that's interesting. That means Ryoshu and Sinclair will be our first event exclusive uh, ID and Ego. So... If I remember from their previous patch notes, these units will be available for dispense next season, I believe. Or was it next next season? Hmm. I need to go and refer to that again. I actually remember. I know the event IDs have a specific uh, place that they have to. Uh, I think the patch was actually the one before this. Let's see if I can find that patch. They, they had a brief breakdown of how they wanted the transition to go. Ah, okay, here it is. So for this one... Blah, blah, blah. Ah, here it is. Okay, for extraction. So Season 1 event IDs will only be available for extraction. Never. Okay, so it will never be able to pull. So this banner will only appear once. So you will never be able to again pull on this banner. But it doesn't mean you miss out. It just means that you will have to go to the dispenser. And after Season 1 ends, you would have to wait until Season 3 to uh, spark the event. Uh, Ego and ID. So Ryoshu and Dawn, you should. Hmm. So they're trying to give a like a premium feeling. So if you really want those egos and IDs now, then you need to pull them now. Otherwise, you have to wait two seasons to spark them, and that's the only way you can get them. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'll have to judge them before I decide whether they are worth pulling for the premium feeling of having it for the entirety of season two. Uh, they. If they help significantly in team building or provide very good effects or just strong, then I would recommend them. Otherwise, uh, I would probably uh, just stay, uh, wait until Season 3 and then go and get them. Maybe for collection purposes. But yeah, I think that is all from this event. Yep. So it looks like a standard gacha event where we are doing stages or uh, a so-called uh, Kel's Chicken Dungeon to get the currency and the event uh, characters we will get Gregor and Sinclair for free but we will have to pull for Dawn and we have to pull for Ryoshu yeah and uh, for those event ID and egos 
this will be the only time we can get them until season 3 where the only way we can get them is to spark them besides that um i'm they, they probably won't make the event 2 grinding i don't think p moon actually like p moon's game really doesn't feel like a gacha game it's very chill the battle pass can be clear just you do a few dailies and you're kind of done there's no grinding required uh so i don't expect this event to be too grindy either i think it's just a uh, natural if you just log on every day and just do a little bit of uh, daily stuff i think you'll be able to clear the event and take everything from the shop but i will uh double check when the event is actually live uh besides that i think i have nothing else um yep that's it for this video <laughs>